from left to right, we've got Tucker Richardson, Nelly Cummings, um, and uh, tournament MVP Jack Ferguson. All three were on the alternate team. And, and Coach Matt Lander. Coach, if you want to start with an opening statement, and then we'll let the, the players take questions first so they can get out of here. Um, I, first, an awesome environment. I, I think that our, uh, from top down, the Colgate administration, um, our athletics department, our student body, our student athletes, you know, everybody that came out to support this group, not just tonight, but over the last couple games in the tournament run and over the season, um, is a huge part of why we've been able to win, uh, win so many games at home. Uh, and go on this run to be champion. So I, I think that that uh, is first and foremost. Second, uh, I felt like the luckiest coach uh, in the country. Um, you know, I basically coach a team that has zero issues. And um, they come to work at the game every day. Uh, they're there for one another off of the court. Um, it's truly a special, special group. And I think that um, you can see it in how they play the game. And so. Um, they've earned a lot of confidence over their careers. You've got three guys here who have been through uh, a lot of highs, but some, some pretty rough lows. And, and two of them decided to come back to, for the opportunity to come and sit here today. And so for me to watch them grow up, um, to have this chance to be in this position is, is really fulfilling uh, and brings me great joy. I thought we played great. I mean, there was just our defense was locked in. We made it hard on the Naval Academy. They got some, some rebounds. Otherwise, it would have been a bigger lead early. Um, and then they threw the kitchen sink at us. They played zone, they played uh, zone pressure, they played, you know, we shot them out of that. And then they, they played, you know, six, six and under game and really pressured and, and made it hard. And, and um, you know, I tell these guys, we talk about all the time, nothing worthwhile in life ever comes real easy. And so it was kind of fitting that there was, you know, <laughs> we gave up a little bit of the lead and, and Navy fought tooth and nail to get back in the game. And then these guys kind of got back together and and made the plays, I thought, on defense uh, more than anything to, to, to secure the win. So super proud um, and, and excited for, for the next step for this group. Thanks, Coach. All right, questions for the players? I think one of you was saying a second ago that you know, that you were scared at some point. Like you, could, you said you were losing six points. Could you kind of elaborate on that? Um, what's going through your mind? I think maybe scared was the wrong word, but just <laughs> like, I don't know, especially going into the second half, up 18 and they get it down to six. Um, it was definitely like a wake up call. I think we got a little bit um, complacent there, but you know, we're a veteran group. So I think that scared is the wrong word. I don't think we were ever scared, but it was more like, all right, let's really, we need to focus in, we need to lock in, stop throwing the ball over the court. Um, and obviously we came together and got it done. <clears throat> any players have any thoughts about what you know, we got 24 early in the second half, and then the next 10 minutes, the Appalachians there. What was, what was Navy doing or Colgate not doing? I think uh, Navy's a good team. You got to give them credit. So they came out to fight. They, were, they weren't going to give up easy, and we knew that. So they gave the fight that we expected from Navy to give, and hats off to them. You know, they played really hard. That's what changed. What do you guys think the key was? You know, there were 18 offensive rebounds for Navy. You guys also had 14 turnovers. From those 18 offensive rebounds, they only got 12 second chance points. Um, you know, what, what was the secret sauce there to, to kind of keep that from being the stat that hurt you, it became the stat that helped you? Yeah, um, coming in our game plan, one of the main focuses was to box out and limit their offensive rebounds. And I guess that's why they're so good at it because you know, every team game plans for it and they still somehow end up with so many offensive, offensive rebounds. Um, but you know, I think having the, the trust in one another to lock back in because I mean, it is pretty, it's pretty disheartening uh, when they get an offensive rebound after you have been playing defense for 25 seconds. Um, but yeah, I credit to everyone for locking back in, um, knowing that that was a big part of the game. And, you know, yeah, staying focused. Um, Anyone can take this. How would you describe your home crowd intensity throughout the entire game? The football game was pretty much fired up on every play. So how would you describe that? Yeah, I can, I can attest, I can answer this a little bit because I've been here the longest. And when I first got here, it was nothing like, like the crowd is now. So credit to, obviously, the coaching staff um, for building the culture that we have. Credit to the players that came before us. and. You know, it was awesome. I think, I think moving forward, this is this is kind of the new normal for Colgate men's basketball. Um, you know, it was really special to see the community build and build over the five years that I've been here.
Also, um, winning it last year at home, but without a crowd, I think that a lot of people around here wanted to be at that game and watch, watch on TV. So it was just, I think that's what also made it really special. It just came full circle. Like we got to win it in front of our fans. I think um, that was just an incredible feeling. In the end, what I sort of perceive from the rivalry on the court is that there's a mutual respect. You know, Coach Achelis was in here before you guys came in talking about how four of these seniors are going to be out in the fleet and the Marine Corps afterwards. You know, what's it like to, to, to be on the court and have so much on the line, you know, knowing you're going up against a bunch of guys who are about to go out and defend, defend this country? It doesn't take away your killer instincts, but how do you balance it? I think we treat it like any other game, honestly. You know, yeah. we can't uh, focus too much on things like that, especially in an environment we're in today when it's a championship game. You have to like play the game you're in. That's what coach stresses a lot. So we didn't really think much about that, but obviously, it's a lot of respect on the line. So for sure. I also think that just it shows their character that they never gave up. They could easily fold it when they're down 24, but a team like that, you know, they're just going to keep coming because of what they've worked their whole lives for and what they're going to continue to do. So. I mean, it sounds kind of corny, but I guess like our country's in good hands with people like that. For sure. What that moment feel like cutting the net? Normal. <laughs> <laughs> Two times. Yeah. Three times. Three times. Four times. I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah. I would say yeah, a lot of nets. I don't know about them, but this one, this one was the best by far. For sure. uh, I yeah. think I think a lot of work went into this one. Yeah. So. And just the game, the game that it was with them coming back and then being able to hold on to it, it made it that much more special. And I would say, too, we started off the season pretty rough. So to be here now, it really feels good. Really gratifying, really satisfying, for sure. Any other questions for the players? Thank you. Thank Thanks. you, guys. Oh, oh. Sure. All right, Coach. See you, man. Back Back here. Yeah, yeah, appreciate, you. appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you. See you, man. See you, Coach. Thank you. Any questions for Coach Lang? I do actually, sorry. Um, kind of the same question. Well, no, no, no. I, so it was 60 to 54, uh, an early 24-point you know, lead is now down to six. Greg Summers is at the line with a one and one that could potentially cut it to four. You know, you just talked about how they threw the kitchen sink at you. From that missed one and one or that missed front end, you went on a 10-0 run and I think maybe committed four to five turnovers. Did you, did you say anything, you know, or was that just them kind of taking the momentum and reversing it and using it to their advantage? Yeah, I mean, again, I think they tried just about everything they could to try and, and find a way back in the game. And they went small and they got very aggressive. I mean, multiple guys fouled out of the game. So they got very aggressive, um, committed some fouls, maybe got some steals or, you know, could have been a foul. or But so the game got kind of chaotic, which was, you know, when you're when your back's against the wall and you've used every other option, that's what, that's what you have to do or give up. And you know that they're not going to give up. So... There's not that much to do. We talked about, you know, our press break and our positioning and being strong with the ball and making good decisions and uh, and finding a way to get stops. Because even if they turn you over or you don't get a score, we were still they were making some hard shots. And so, you know, I think that the guys kind of dug down and, and adjusted. You know, you're, you're constantly as a player adjusting to the game that you're in. Well, the game got totally different because there were no big people on the court that, and we kept the big guy out there. So. You know, we're mismatched, and, and our guys finally adjusted to them basically playing one-on-one, -on -one, trying to get to the basket and, and create, either get fouled or, or, or score. And, and we, we, you know, that's not how they play. They're normally very disciplined and rigid and running, you know, the elaborate offense. So, um, you know, I think once our guys kind of adjusted after that, after that run they went on, we got some stops and some turnovers, and then, you know, then we got to the bonus eventually, and we stepped up and made some enough foul shots and kind of, Stem the tide, and then I think our guys were 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 on short ground there to, to close it out. Thanks, coach. Um, I want to talk about a guy who wasn't in here. Um, Woodward obviously had a tremendous impact down low. Um, I saw you guys throw it to him a couple times um, towards the game, at the end of the game. Um, what can you say about his in impact? Now? Yeah, I, I feel again really fortunate. Um, you know, Keegan Records was third team All Conference and, and led the led the league in block shots. 
Um, and, and Jeff was all rookie uh, uh, last year. And so but we feel really good that we have two really good centers. It just so happens that Jeff didn't get a chance to play you know, quite as much as Keegan because Keegan made you know, a big jump this year on the defensive end. And so, but they're different. You know, they're both huge guys. Um, they've got great hands. Uh, Jeff is really a cerebral, cerebral player, so when they went small I, I, and it wasn't working with Keegan in there, I felt comfortable that you know, Jeff might be able to figure it out. He's that, that's the type of player he is. Um, you know, you're usually, as a coach, asking your point guard, say, what do you see out there? I, I ask Jeff often, like, what, what's going to work? Because that's, that's his mind. That's how he sees the game. And so, um, yeah, he stepped up. He, he's also, he loves the environment. You can see he loves the stage. I mean, we might not put him out here because we might never get to leave if he was up here. Because he's, he, you know, he loves those moments, which is really neat and really special. And, and I think he, he stepped up when his team needed him um, because that's what, that's who he is, and that's what he wants, and um, you know, definitely helped us win this game and be champions. Yeah, questions for Coach Michael? All right, thanks. Thanks, Coach. Charles, safe.